run. If he's looking to get outside and he's looking to run, then obviously we want to be in zone coverage just so we can converge on him. Okay. Uh, if we wanted to keep him in the pocket, though, you know, uh, we would run a lot of the, 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 the Texas game, right? Speed rush the edge. We don't want him outside. Let's, let's put the game inside. Let us speed rush the edge and keep him in the pocket. Okay. All right. And that's kind of a schematic thing. Go forward, 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 and do that. Okay. All right. But usually, I think it's so hard. It really is. It's so hard to rush the quarterback, uh, especially if it's hard to light up and say, "I'm going to beat you." Here we go. Um, you know, usually every third and long, we're trying to get a game somewhere, unless we've got a dominant rusher. You know, if we've got a dominant rusher. All right, we're going to let it. We're going to. We're going to obviously let let him go and let him beat the sucker. Okay. You know, you know, that's just what kind of kids you got. When you move, when you move your dominant rusher around, let, let's say your two tackles. You know, the guy who's the bat. Will you always make sure he's in the three? We have done Try that. It. Yep. We have done that. Most of the time, we get most of our dominant rushers outside guy. Not we haven't had a dominant inside guy for a long time. And you know, that killer. We had to kill them a lot. But uh, most of we had some outside. I had actually had a kid in, in 07. Or, uh, he finished in, uh, I guess he finished in 07. He said he, said he owns a Division II sack record. He said he had, four, he had 42 sacks in his career. So you know, he was a dominant rusher. <laughs> so, you know, we, we should let him go. You know. Uh, and don't be, you know, that's it. Uh, some of don't outsmart yourself. When we used to do this and we make a call and I just tell him, uh, okay, you ready? Beat him. Inside, outside, then make a difference. You go beat him and you cover it. Made a cover call and his job was to come off and gauge the tackle and see him. If you went inside, go outside. All right? If he stayed outside, you stay inside. And look, because he's gonna make him run. You know? So we do things like that we can just turn him loose and let him go. Now he's, now he's got free ball. Don't, don't worry about rushing contain or any of that stuff. Go beat that sucker. Okay? So we did a lot of that. And we, tag, we, and we can do that. We have it in our scheme. We call it. If we say a free rush would be a, you know, that's the inside guy. If we say Indian outlaw, that's, that's, a, that's a free rush. So if I said Indian and the inside guy's got the free rush, outside guy covering, Outside, if I say outlaw, the outside guy's got the free rush, inside guy covered. Okay? So we can do that. Also, we got the guy. We didn't do a whole lot of that. Uh, so we didn't do any of this. We didn't have the dominant rush. Okay. So, so, uh, all right. Hang on. I had to cover two questions. Yep. We missed something to cover two. Um, okay. I just wanted to know what your kind of how you're coaching that nickel or Sam, the walked out guy who's leveraging that number two as opposed to being inside of him. Um, but are you always leveraging, whether it's trips or two by two? And cover two in our two shell, we're always leveraging that cap. Yeah. Yeah. To the end of side. <coughs> we're like whatever. Now now boundary side we won't. Yeah. Okay. Doing Sam or whatever, whatever you want to call him, yeah, that's fine. All right. All right. Yeah. So we're we're gonna leverage that thing, especially to the field side. We're always gonna leverage. We're never gonna get, now if we're gonna give him the bubble anywhere, we're gonna give it to him in the boundary. Okay. And then we will handle the boundaries obviously because we're gonna yeah, cheat this guy, let him shoot it, stack force it off that. Mm -hmm. You know, if he's coming inside. Well, I tell you what, I thought was, I think it's one of the better plays, and this is one. This is when they put the back into the boundary. So put the back into the boundary. Okay. Run the zone in the field. Okay. <coughs> now we're in the If this guy's going to be what? Ideally, it would be like this. We're like that, we're okay because we're going to make an e call. And we're going to be like that. We're good. Happens with when the three technique and tries to the three do the back and three. 
Now you run zone. What's he do? Holy crap. Okay, so you got an answer for that. Is that cool? I think good enough for me. But just as far as pass, you know, we always put that guy inside just trying to widen the two for the safety to kind of funnel one and two. Mm -hmm. For that Sam, so if he gets like two verts, what is he? Is he chasing the, the yep. walk leverage guy? Is he going to chase from the outside? Or? Here and here? Yeah. Okay. We're going to put him in squat, so again, he's going to be, yeah, he's going to be here. If, well, if we're playing straight cover two, we tell him is that his job is he's going to control pedal. We're not matching it. Okay, if we go straight cover two, this sentence, you know what I'm saying? He's going to control pedal, all right? And he's actually going to line up inside number two now. Sorry, I said, uh, I said yes, we do. Our matchup were here. If we said straight cover two, he would be inside that guy, and he would control pedal straight back. He would control pedal, he would control pedal. Okay. So when you're the outside leverage, you're always in a matchup. If we're outside leverage, we're playing in and out. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because really, we don't have because if it runs support, we're going to blow the back gap. So he's going to blow that gap. Mm -hmm. What about quarters, coach? You guys run quarters? Yeah. Versus, what do you want to see? Sure. Now, when ours all is, I mean, I'll, a lot of quarters are bad. It's, it's either quarter, quarter, halves, or. Yeah. So it's going to be like just two stack four stand up, it's just two quarters across. Yeah, we, we have, you know, we haven't done this in, uh, we haven't done that in, in quite a while. Uh, it was one of our off season talks about that when you get back into it because we're sitting there, we're seeing it. We were all spread for the last five years, and then this year we start seeing a lot more, you know, age back, which is 20, this 20 personnel. You know, we start seeing a lot more of that, and I think our conference will get, now we're actually going to go back, there's two teams in our conference going to be I formation. So, it's, you know, a lot of talk necessity, what are you seeing? We've been seeing, I mean, heck, it's all, uh, you know, 10, 11 personnel, who's around, you know. But then we start seeing that, and other than that, you kind of want to get back into some quarters and build Get the nine man front and let him do it. You know. How do you play your progression? Your safe. Sorry. Run past eyes. Okay. If if on well, work quarters is like uh, now right now it would be like this. Okay. If I was here, same thing. He's gonna check E man on the scrimmage. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then his eyes balls are building two. If I got high hat, my eyes are going to go to number two. All right? If I get low hat, okay, if I get low hat, so saying I'm going to check number two because I got to check my arm stack four. I'm going to stack the force off the safe. Right. Okay? On this side, we don't do it. We don't do it over there. Now, we don't do it. Some of that. that. We don't do it. Why? Because I don't like that back. But all the 10 personnel we're seeing, you know, so we see so much 10, right? I do not want him. Going to curl flat to wheel on that with nobody on top of it. And then again, I, I think I mean, that just goes back to what are you seeing? I mean, you know, like I said, for in several years, all we saw was 10. There's a thing, in, oh, uh, but it's in, in 06, and I didn't put this in you know, 06, when we did a, a year in cut ups, I did not have an ISO. Not one. Not one ISO all year. And in 06, we played 15 games. Went to semis. Fifteen games, we did not see an ice. <coughs> You're going crap. You know, when fall camp, we spent all the time fitting the ISO and all that sort of stuff. Not one. We saw power, but never saw an ISO. How about that? And now, I mean, we see it. You know, we've seen it. In a sense, I mean, there's, I mean, again, I think there's so much what you're doing, you know what I mean? People ask me, I say, okay, well, if we do everything else. There's three, three personnel, and it's for speed. But if I was in a conference, if I was in a conference where they're all two backs and tied in, we'd be in 5 4 3. You know? I do that. You know? But the whole idea changed because I was 4 3, but then we're seeing so much where Sam had to come out here. Oh, God. And then every time he did that, we were scared about him taking a guy. So what did you end up doing? You subbed him out and put that guy in there. So I'm taking my one of my best players and a scholarship player, and I'm taking him off the field. Oh crap, we're just going to a faster kid that can go do that. You know, let's find the answers, you know, the other answers to it. So, so they, I mean, if you went schematically, if you're asking, we're basically, we're a 4-2-5, really. We're doing a 3-3 personnel. 
over four to go. It's all over under front. And over three three first round. Is your outside backer in quarters leverage that number two, or is he playing head up inside? He's always going to leverage it. No, leverage in the quarters. Yep. Yep. And that's just good. I mean, again, uh, it goes back to, I mean, it was, uh, if you didn't leverage him, you're going to get the ball. And you may get it 15 times a game. You didn't leverage that cat, here it comes, but they're going to throw it to you, stop it. You know? And it's so much bad because it's, didn't leverage this. The problem was they blocked that cap and run away from him. You know, where they crack, they crack him and leave your corner and make your corner tackle that guy. And those guys ain't real good at that. You know? So, <coughs> so the answer is we built in the package basically that we're going to leverage that second three times. That doesn't have to be like I said, we won't leverage it in cover two. We should get a hard corner support through the bubble so the corner hit it in the face. And then, uh, and our cover three stuff goes in the way. But again, we should have <coughs> in here. We should be flat foot six. So we've got to get around to the road. Yeah. Okay. What's your middle field defense? We talked about yesterday. Um, versus the spread. Our, 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 I know, mean, I said our, our base stuff. Uh, and if I was going schematic, this is, this is okay. If, if, if it's for, on one person, we say first and ten. What is it? You know what I mean? Are they 80% runs until we see? We still see it. We'll see, we'll see. I mean, some teams are going to get down to 50. Mm -hmm. But more majority of times, so we're seeing first and ten, they're 80% run. Okay? Well, for us, if an 80% run, you know, we're going to play some three. Okay? And then we're going to play the stuff, and we're going to stunt the front, play too high. Okay? So. I mean, a basic thing would be for us, okay, give us an over front, do it like this, okay. <coughs> All right, we're going to over front. We're going to slant that back side so, again, he can, he can widen out if he needs to. Four, he can widen out that side, and then we're going to play again. Just play. We're going to lock that one up. We're going to leverage this, and we're going to play stack force off these guys here, and stack force the boundary here, or the weak side. That is probably our, our bread and butter call. All right? And then the same thing I was talking about when we did first do the run stuff. What's our run stuff? The next thing we do is now we're going to slam these guys to free him up. All right? We'll take the back. If they don't any type of zone option, take the back that way. I'll scrape for that. Okay? Like we want that. And then our bread and butter would be game and we're we'll gonna play we have to play a matchup coverage. Okay? If you point down to second and long and say let's say what you're seeing. Let's say you're saying screen and play action pass, I don't know what you're saying. But here's the gentleman. If we're seeing screen, right? If we're seeing screens, we like cover two. Vision the quarterback. Two or Tampa. Okay? If, uh, if, if, I, if I'm seeing uh, play action pass, we like what? Cover three. Love that. Okay? We can do the three or we can get in our two high stuff. Feel pretty good about doing any of our two high stuff. All right? So we know our corner can help on the drag cut that comes across. All right? Like I said, if we're running the football, we're going to put three or we're going to stunt. We're going to stunt the heck out of the front. Then he's going to go down distance, so then what you get him in whatever now he goes it's a third and short, which is to say they you know, whatever they're in the top the high percentage run. Okay. High percentage run, our best run defense, the bear. The next second thing is gonna be it goes back to that slam call, so we're gonna slam it. We get you a third and long. You're going to six. You're fixing to see six DB. Run the draw. You know, if I, if I get you a third and long, we'll put six DBs on the field and do the same stuff. You know, and again, all, all it is, you know, we're going down. You know, I'm going to say it's first and ten. 
like our play call sheet would be like this. It'd say, okay, uh, first and ten, and then it's going to be all first and ten. So ten personnel, right? And I'm going to have bop, 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 what they do. Eleven personnel, what do they do? Twelve personnel, what do they do? Right? What are twenty-one? Bop, 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 bop. Okay? So all we check when we go first and ten, if they're in ten personnel, what are we going to be in? We're going to be in... Uh, we want to be in a quick game with cover five. So with our old requirement, we'll say uh, quick thunder five. Okay. If they're 11 personnel, um, they're running the football. Because a lot of times, go first and 10, say it's 80% run, but hold on. If they're in 10 personnel, it's 50%. If they're 11 personnel, it's 75% run. If they're 21, it's 95% run. So they throw, that throws the whole thing off. It gets high to 80. Well, they go 10 personnel, they're not 80% run. 50, 50. So we're going to go down a distance by personnel, so we know, and here's our calls. You know, we have basically our best matchup versus that we're going to see. We give them a second long, and we say, what, 10 personnel, you're going to see what, the screen? You know, we're going to get 11 personnel, you're going to see this, you're going to get 21, you're going to see play action pass. Crap. So, okay, second long, 21 personnel comes in, we're going to be in cover three. Okay? 10 personnel matchup on play action pass, they want to play action pass here. We won't be in too high, so it's going to be either five or two. And then we'll do the same thing. You know. Do you break it down by field, too, and all that? Yeah. Zones? Yeah. And really, when we break it, so you'd ask me, okay, if I draw a football field, right, then get the picture, okay? Obviously, this is the goal line, right? Your goal line, your red zone, that's basically 35 to 10, okay? 35 to 35, we call that the alumni zone, right? Anyway, you know middle field area, alumni zone, because they're able to do anything. You're going to see, usually, this is where you're going to see halfback pass. This is where you're going to see the, the fake screen go. You know, any of the do that stuff, the uh, raw raw, they're gonna take a shot, all the stuff to get their alumni excited, they're gonna do it then. Okay? Down here, nope, it's about scoring points, and they ain't gonna screw around. Okay? And well, all right, and then we so we, we break down 35, 30, now we want to go backed up. So 30, 34, and we'll take them all the way down to the 10. Okay? 34 to the 10, what do they do down here? I'm surprised when we break down the field zone, so that people down here. Uh, won't throw the screens, or maybe that's when they all do throw the screens. It can be totally flip, but you can say this is a third and five here is not the same as third and five here. Third and five here may be, you know, 80% run. He's trying to, he's going to get out of, he don't want to throw a pick down there because he's going to turn to seven points. So, you know, he may, third and five, he may go ahead and run the football speed up. Third and five down here, he may take a shot at the end zone. So we're gonna break down by field. So you know, usually I go through, we go through that. I'm trying to see if something stick out. Is there a difference? Okay. Uh, and then if, if, there, if there's not a difference, we'll put it all together. But uh, if it is, then we're gonna actually have a. I'm gonna have a, a play call sheet would be like this, and this will be alumni. Right. And then we have a red zone, and we have the same thing down here. And we have a goal line area, the same thing. First down, second down, third down look at all the things so we know where, where the stick's at. And look, by the time we're done with the game plan, I can hand it to a GA. <laughs> Go call. This is right there. Somebody, somebody can sit there and tell them, it's first and 10, 21 personnel. He's just got to look down and say, uh, you know, whatever. Whip slam five, cheap. You know. Okay, here we go. Right, second long, 21 personnel. He goes, uh, thunder three. You know. You stay that true most of the time to your game plan? Now, long that we, we got to check it, we got to check it early. We check it like there's a, there's a point when uh, it, I think it, it depends. Um, it'd be like this. Uh, there's times when we've been uh, we were real good in 06, 07, 08. 06, 07, 08, we led our we led our conference in defense, and uh, we were top five in the country in defense all three years. Okay, so we go in with the plan, the thing they're doing. Here's what they're doing. Here's what they're doing. And then we just see the first half, and they, just, they abort the damn run, you know. But, okay. And then you got to change it, you know what I mean? 
because I mean, we had we had some good cats. There were some good players. This last year weren't very good. I mean, I think we're third in the conference. And just we weren't where we really been. We've been a lot better than that. And, uh, from when we were real good, the question of people changed. They change in a hurry. I mean, they, we could see all this other stuff and they come up against us. They didn't, they'd be no backs all day going to be. You know, they ain't going to try it. They ain't going to try running the football. You know? So we always want to check it. We're going to go in. And I'm usually going to get a field by the end of the first quarter. And you kind of see. And you kind of know. If they run this and that and they're slamming that and they're slamming that and slamming that. you got to go, okay, what's he going to go to? You know? He's going to go to this. Well, I try to tell our kids, so I want them to understand too, that most coordinators are like this. Okay. I try to use it when I'm breaking them down too. When we're watching film, I try to get a visual image of what's his, what does his play call look like? What's his play call sheet look like? Okay. Well, I want to know. What, okay, first and ten here he is, or his openers. Okay. May have a thing with his, his openers. Right. This is what he opens with. Okay. Uh, third and short. You know, whatever it be ISO and power. You know, and then uh, whatever play action pass. Maybe you have that on there. You know, I'm gonna have his third and medium calls on there. I'm gonna say, what are you doing? I'm, you know, top thing. And we go through a game. I got it in my head or from the, when I was coordinator in the box. I'm just looking at the same thing. And I'm going, okay, he's third and short. He ran the ISO last time. Check. We, we slammed him. Second time, third short comes up. He runs the power. Check. We slammed him. Third short next time. Guess what? He's gonna get. He play action pass. He just went over two. He's going to the next one. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, third and long, you kind of know his routes, what he's got. Boom, boom, boom. Here's bread and butter routes. Okay, he got you. He hit it, got it. He's coming back to it. <coughs> okay. So you know, halftime. Yeah, it's easy. We want to go out. We're going to look at. Is I look at the because I was having him here quick. So we're looking for uh, scoring drives. You know. And I think a lot of times, like in high school, you get a, a, a dad or somebody, and all they just write was, you know, you know. Uh, I tell you, I said, do the best you can. Tell me what it was, and they just write down an option, reverse, screen, pass, touchdown, boom, boom, boom. You know, but now we get a guy. He's going to tell you, he's going to he's going to try to get the get the personnel. He's going to twenty one personnel, pro <coughs> Power, you know, ten personnel, next tear, and we're going to go down. I'm going to look for big plays first. You know, all right, because you know most coordinators do that. They sit there, and they get a big play. What do they do? He circles it. If he hits a play, it worked. We went to trips, gun week, and we ran uh, zone, and uh, we threw the bubble, got it. Boom! He circles it. He knows he's coming back to it. That was a good play. And they just go down the list. So I'm going to go down my list, and I'm going to. I'm going to circle those plays. Okay, good. Well, this is what we did. What are we going to do? All right. Well, next time we come to that situation, we need to, you know, we need to do that because we're making our adjustments. Try not to be uh, too complicated with the kids. We don't want, you don't want to go over at halftime and be, you know, let's go drop the coverage. Oh, you know, I don't do that stuff, you know what I mean? But, you know, we want to say, hey, look, all right, here it is. And we talk a lot about the coverage, past concept. We talk a lot about how we're going to match that. Okay? All right, good. Well, they went the the cell route, and they you know they hit the back in the flats, and bam, you know he got he turned it up for 15 yards. We got to talk to that safety. Hey, look, they're gonna come back to this play. You can't lose leverage. Hang with the guy along, but you may have to come off sooner. You can't lose leverage on that route. Okay, great. So next one, next time it's coming, he knows you know you know just try to coach him up on what you're doing. How many plays usually you gonna list? Like five? Or Me? I mean, there's some of them. There's some guys that's third to be all over the map. Grab back. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't like grab that guys. I like the guys that So I mean, is there usually a number you're gonna cut it off and say, what they're I'll doing? take their top five? Yeah. What I do is this is I'll usually like that, yeah, we're gonna go like it usually goes like it'll look like this. Okay? So I'll go first 10, 10 personnel. I'm gonna have my calls and I'm gonna have theirs right below it. You know, whatever. Don't option dart both. You know, and it may just be three. Three here, three there, you know what I mean? Okay? So I'm gonna have it right on the same call sheet so I got it right there in front of me. Okay? Um, and you know, if if, if it gets too long, what we try to look at this is you know, some things I look at and say, he can't do that. 
He can't do that. But, uh, I won't write it down. He does that, and I got it. So we have to. You know, man, I ain't gonna worry about that one. I don't worry about the calls that I say. Ooh, you know, that, that you know, that's pretty good. You know, what I mean, we gotta be ready for the calls that, that I don't like our matchups, or I don't like the way. You know, what I mean, he may have something. There, you know, or again, it goes back to well, sometimes a lot of times it's protecting the kids. You know, you know, you got that guy. And, Whatever, Johnny goes down and here comes his backup in and oh crap, you know. I think a lot of calling stuff is big sure it's, you know, it's the Jimmys and the Joes, man. You can write all the stuff you want, but hell, little Jimmy's not really good at uh, at reading from the stack and dead gum send you. You know, you can do something else. You know, help him out. You know? We did that. I mean, uh, there's a lot of our backups, and I go try to you know talk about just calling things. You know, we try, you try to always, I try to, we try to sit down and talk about every week. We do a lot, of, we do personnel evaluations every day. I know we got more time than you, okay, I understand that. So obviously you're not going to go through it every day. I want to do personnel evaluations. I want to talk to them about D-line coaching, okay. It's, that's not the star, usually it's the backup. What's, you know, how's he doing? What's he good at? What's he not good at? You know what I mean? Did I, we want to go in, especially at the beginning of the year, and we want to talk about this. All right, what's, uh, okay, what's Kyle good at? He's playing, you know, he's playing defensive end. Well, coach, he's, he's really, I feel real comfortable him in a three technique uh, when he's that, you know. You know uh, coach, listen, when he, he's really screwing up our zone blitzes. You know what I mean? He's, you know, he's, we're going to game one. He's screwing up the zone blitzes, and, uh, you know, but he's real good. He's real good in a three technique. I don't think he's going to be good at the passer. He's not in this matchup that tackle. He's not going to do that. Okay, great. So we kind of want to know that, and I want to know when he's going in. So let's make sure we do that. Let's, let's, get, let's get him, put him in a comfort zone. When he gets in, let's try to get him in the three technique. Uh, you know, it's third and long, get him out. He's not going to pass for a second. Get him out. You know, let's put this guy in. And that's a chance also for us. It would be a lot of times, you know, we can take the, the, get the backup in, rest of one, two, now we'll get a fresh guy running in on third down and rushing the quarterback. You know what I mean? And that'll be our opportunities a lot of times to put, you know, get backups in the game, one, two. You know, I'm getting a backup linebacker in, he's not going to do whatever else. Maybe we might send him in, and boom, he's, he's running the blitz. I'm sending him. One, two, let's get him out, let's get the next guy back in, let's go play. Is there one formation that just really bothers you? You know, the team comes out and runs this, you know, he just got signed. You know, uh, it's things that make you, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I think it goes back to, you know, us, us personnel wise right now, is what we are. We're, we're big right now. Uh, our defense is key to it's speed and, and those things. So it's the people that balance. I told somebody that day was last night. Somebody asked me about that. And said, uh, you know, uh, we had a team this year, which we don't see a lot of it, and they hadn't done it, and they they schemed us flat out. Here we go. Ready? They're like that. Bingo. Right? They lined up like that. Here they came. They made us balance up, and they had two big old suckers to tie into. They're both sitting there about 260, 270. They're actually some tackles, and they mashed our little ass. You know what I mean? Uh, but that, that's not much of a schematic thing. Is that um, uh, I like, or I say, is like, so I like, or don't like, is uh, I think it's, I think the people that run uh, it's just the same scheme but all different formations and a lot of movement. Give you less time to check, give you less time to make communication calls. You know what I mean? I used to be real big on this. I was talking about this. Was, you know, that uh, uh, that uh, defense is all about time response. Okay? That's what it's all about. Okay? It's how much time does it take me to respond. Okay? And I said, the example is this I mean, you, you, you go into a, uh, you go to a Pee Wee football game, right? And they go toss right. And he gets up about five yards, and then everybody runs. Okay, all right. And you do the same thing with high school. and picks the ball, boom, everybody runs. You know, you go to college, you, the ball's going through the air. People better be running. You go to the NFL, they're gone. <laughs> they're running. Right. The time response. How do you cut that down? Okay. Well, the same thing happens. I think the big thing on offense is what they do is, is when they. When they give you less time to sit and set in and do the things, you know what I mean? Because they, not not talking about the trades, but just uh, you know, you know, 
know, taking the A H putting this guy on, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, boom, motion and trips, snap it, uh, put two of them together. Now motion what? Motion to a bunch or cluster. Okay. Now do the same thing. Put the tail back, put a Y in there, right? <coughs> motion down right behind that sucker to snap the ball. Okay? Motion to the other guy, you know what I mean? All the things that cause communication problems and stuff give you less time to respond to them. That's what that that's what I have uh, because now the guys I'm making a call and I got about a second or maybe less than that and boom, we better respond. You know? We try to adjust, you want to put the kids in the perfect spot, but once they do that stuff, and a lot of times it's old, oh, you, you know, you got to, how fast can you get the stuff communicated, how fast you want to get it home? So, more so to me, it's probably that kind of stuff. When it comes to your down and distance, how many games do you chart, do you chart them all? No, no. We, we, our base rules are going to chart three. The last three. Yeah, yeah we're going to take the last three, and this one's a blowout. If it's a blowout, then we'll maybe stop it when the, because that's what you don't want to chart. It, uh, I'm up 48 to 7, and you're charting plays that are screwing up your down distance tendencies of credit. Because he's trying to get the game over with and canning the ball off, and all of a sudden the run ratio goes up. Or if he's down by, you know what I mean? I'm down by a bunch, and all of a sudden he's airing it out every down, and all of a sudden you're not getting it. So we want to get it, uh, we want to get those games. So if he if, if he gets a butt kicked or he's kicking butt on the other, we want to cut it off. So now maybe it may be this game, maybe this half. So when we get another game, we get another half. So we may end up having to go four games to get the plays that we want to get, but ideally we're looking at least 200 something plays, you know, 250, maybe 300 plays. That would be the top, probably 300 plays we want to get charted in there. And we're really wanting to nut cutting time. Uh, I'd say this though too. So we used to, all, I used to do this. Was okay. Um, the better you are, you know, when we were, like I said, when, I, when we were real good on defense, I used to watch them when they were getting their butts kicked because I wanted to see what's going to happen because we're fixing the hammer. You know, and I wanted to know what, what's he going to do when he's getting his butt hammered. You know what I mean? Is he just going to turn into an aerial fest? And we better get ready for it. We're fixing to get it aired out. We're going to get, you know, 90 plays. If, you know, if, is he just going to now just run the ball and get it over with? Okay, well, let's just, you know, make sure we've we got to be ready for that. Don't be third and long. Don't be covering, you know, we're only sitting at 60 Bs, and he's going to turn around and hand the ball off on the draw. You know what I mean? He ain't going to do it. He's going to try to get the game over with, and, you know, again, boost Every time our kids go out, I don't care if it's 48 to nothing or down 40 nothing. You want, you just want your kids to go out there and have success. You don't want them to go out there. I don't care if they're back. I don't want to send them out there and get their heads kicked in. You know what I mean? I want to go out there and, and win. I want them to have success in the situation they're in. So, um, how many games do you have to choose from? You get them all. We get them all. Yeah. 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 We get them all. So, but then, yeah. general rule back to back. General rule three. Three, and then we'll adjust it based off of what we're seeing. You guys do something typically against like 32 personnel, 22, real heavy stuff. Yeah. You guys got your goal line package time and time. What do you got? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, most time, if, if they do any of that, any 22, 32 stuff, we usually we're going fair. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's our that's our goal line package too. Yeah. yeah. You know, change the personnel. So we can. Yeah. We can change. Yep. We just uh, uh, self cross. We we'll just like go to play behind it. We can play any, our personnel. Where here's our regular personnel, three three five. Okay, so we classify this. So we say regular personnel is three three. Okay, that's regular. Okay. And if I say forty two, that's four D linemen. That's two linebackers. And if I say give me twenty four, that's two. All right, that's two D linemen. That's four linebackers. All right. We want to go with it. We call it six pack. We want a six pack is six DBs, right? That's six DBs, okay? And we want three D line, three linebackers, okay? And two, two D line, okay? Um, goal line situation. If they're about thirty to heavy, we're from we'd say fifty one per five D line and one linebacker. Uh, then again. We usually run every year. We're running that. We're gonna run that, and that, and that. Depending on how many D line we got, which is always—I mean, I don't know where you, you know—they're they're hard to find. You know what I mean? 
Uh, just because he's a D lineman, I don't want to stick him in a goal line situation if I got a better kid to make plays. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, depending on what we got, whether we play that every year or that. Yeah. And then so that's why we'll do the same stuff. Just go around and set the three technique and play. This is a uh, kind of a basic uh, umbrella. We talk about all of it, and then I'm, I'll go into it. But I think it's good to see this kind of stuff too. Uh, four man, how we break it down? We go four man pressure. What are we? We're gonna play 3D, 2D, or some type of 3-2 matchup, right? All right. Uh, five man pressure. We're gonna play man three. Okay. We're gonna play 2D four under. We're gonna play 3D three under. Okay, six man pressure, all right, we play uh, zero concept, uh, we're going to play with one free, we're going to sign the back to somebody in the front, okay, so we may assign him to the outside backer, or we could assign him to the defensive end, okay, it's not always the edge guy on the field, okay, so we can assign him to somebody in the front, okay, and then we've got seven man pressure, this is a whole plus one concept, we're peeling on the edges, uh, we're tackled back inside because we're not covering the running back. Okay, so he comes through the gap, he's in your gap, he's your guy. <coughs> tackle him, don't let him out. Okay, tell the edge, tackle back inside. Okay, and that's kind of how we start when we, when we do everything. All right, start with, uh, we can do this with man pressure too. So this, so this, is, this is actually talking a little man pressure, so we'll get a little bit of that. Man or zone pressure. We can call that <coughs> press. Okay. And if now we're just going to tell them where to strength to call it, okay? It says call them, we can call the blitz and say whatever, old bazooka, and we're going to call old bazooka to the strength. But we're going to call field, and we're going to call it to the field. The ball's on the hash, we're calling it to the field. We call it short, we're calling it, we're coming from the boundary. We we'll call it to the back, we're running from the back, okay? We can call it to the pass strength, okay? Now we can call it just to the tight end. Now we can also play, we can call it away from the back too and away. We call to the back or away. We call to the pass strength. We call to the tight end. Okay. Uh -oh. All right. Here's some basic zone blitzes. Okay. Uh, we call a storm is a version of the NCAA blitz. Okay. Well, we're gonna show bear. Okay. We're gonna show bear front again, trying to lose. Them. We're playing man free behind it. Okay. Uh, we're gonna play two deep, four under. We're gonna when we zone blitz, we drop our backers. That's one of the versions. Also playing a three three, you good. Instead of having to drop on a defensive end in coverage, we drop on a linebacker. So it's a little better on that part. Okay. So again, we're, we're gonna do this. Let me, let me talk about this first. All right. And we'll get into it when we talk about the. Uh, I said NCAA blitz because everybody in NCAA runs it, right? Do we know what I'm talking about? That you got a guy coming off the edge. You got the guy coming around, you're going to stick the, the five technique underneath, okay? Uh, he, the Mike Backer, is reading the play side tackle, right? Play side tackle kicks out, I'm underneath him. Play side tackle blocks down, or you know, slide, full slide that way, or just block down on the run, I'm outside the tackle, right? We've got an edge pressure here, okay? We've got two backers on the edge, all right? Here's some basic ones we do. We, go, we do this. Okay. Uh, we do a flame call. That's our free safety in the mic. Free in the B. Mike's in the A. Okay. So again, we obviously we slant the nose back across. We take the three technique to cop him out. We're going to drop the two outside backers. We're going to show bear early. Then we're going to stem the right side guy out. Then we're going to take the backers from the line of scrimmage. And they're going to drop out. Okay. Um, and then this one. Okay. As mad, we talked about that in zone blitz, great zone blitz pressure. I mean, uh, for zone read, you want to call it to the back. We're doing it for pass reasons. We need to go to say that the, they're, let's ask them earlier, or well, if they're sprinting to the field, would you blitz it? Yep, okay. So now all of a sudden they're sprinting to the field, so we're going to call field man, okay. So again, we're going to get us here. Uh, this is drawn up a little different. Um, we'd have to call heads to get that. So we go three technique over to the front, okay. Backers off the edge, Ember's coming outside with it, okay. That's a mad call. It's just over front with the invert coming off the edge. Okay? 
So that's a three basic ones. You can see all these, these are just repeating. There's some back storm, we can call it to the back no matter what. Uh, short, mad, we come off the short side. Okay, we go field flame, we call it flame, we're gonna do it there. We do uh, uh, a short flame, now we're coming to the short side of the field. Okay, all right, so we're gonna take basically those three blitzes, all right, and we're gonna hit them anywhere we can. Okay, and then that's this is all done basically with a 2D form. Okay, and I'll go through our 3D three other stuff here. Okay. Um, the only I'll, I'll probably, the man pressures be down here. This is out of three three stuff again. Okay, and that's just bringing two outside backers to the V gap. Uh, this is if we want to get two backs on the strong side. And this is if we want to get all three of them coming inside. Okay, all right. Again, when you talk about blitzes, guys, you can just draw them for days. You know what I mean? So, uh, again, all three of them. All right. Uh, there's a dog principle. When we say, uh, I don't want to go, I don't want to move back and forth. Let me talk about it. Let's go talk about zone blitzes. Let me see. Now I'll come back to this one. Back. There's a bunch of them. All right. Let's do this first. We talked a little bit about attack and protection. Okay. We want to make sure we recognize slide. Okay. All right. The biggest thing we're trying to determine is where's the center going. So we know we've got the slide side, we've got the man side. Okay. All right. So now, because when we go to protections, we want to make sure if we're blitzing for the if we're blitzing the pass, we want to make sure it matches up right against the protections we're getting. Okay. So first thing we do is make sure we're identifying that. When we identify when we break it down again, where's the center? We want everybody. We want all of our guys to understand. Everybody understands that. Hey, if the back's over here, nine times out of ten, it's going to be slide. It's going to be the man side here, getting slide side here. Center's coming with. Them. Okay. Now, the only thing we adjust is, does he bring them across? Can they do that? And then the full slide protection, they all slide back. We call that squeeze. Full slide would be squeeze. He's on this edge, they're all blocking back in a gap. That's squeeze protection, does. Okay? Oh, there's squeeze right there. You go. Okay? Squeeze protection with him on the edge. Okay? Um, I'm just going to go because we're talking man, we, we, we kind of base everything off bare, and we're going to make a lot of our zone pressures look like that. This is, this is different. This is uh, our. Three, four stuff. Let me, I'm gonna go to there. There's blue. There's red. Okay. Red coverage. All right. If we're playing red, okay, it's two deep, four under. All right. The rules here for the end. So start with the backers first. All right. If I'm a backer, don't matter if I'm dropping from the edges or I'm dropping from a stacked position. Okay. Your the rule is first. You're hot. Okay. You're hot to the scene. We want to cover down hot routes first. Okay. So first we want to clarify this, make sure what's a hot route? Hot route's what? I can stand up and throw that ball, get rid of the pressure. So we're thinking of slants and seams right now. Okay? That's right. We're going to cover the hot first, the ball coming out. After that, it turns into a zone coverage. Okay? So if I'm here, all right, I'm thinking hot on him. So I'm going to turn and look at it. If he runs a slant or a seam, I got to get on his butt right now. Okay? If the ball don't come out, I'm going to square it back up, and I'm going to sink for depth. Okay? I'm still going to play my no-cover zone underneath, and I'm going to turn into a zone cover. Cover them down now, and then after that, it's a zone coverage. Read the quarterback's intentions. If you're looking away, squeeze on, all right? Shrink on the back side, expand on the front side. You ever good on that? So, so, so you're, you're going to pass, like, the crossing route off to the opposite backers? One seat, yes. Yeah, boom. It's not a slant. Boom, boom, boom. Let it go. In, 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 in. Let it go. Zone it off. Play the quarterback. Yep. Okay. All right. If we get uh, three to a side, okay, don't have it. Let's say they give us trips. If they give us trips, we're both going the same direction. Because I got to take the hot of two, and you got to take the hot of three. So they're on double slant. We've got one going to two, we've got one going to three. Okay. All right. If, if we got trips on that side, we tell the front side backers, you got the first crosser go. Okay? In case they run uh, getting trips and they run three on a on a uh, on an underneath route and run two up the seam. I gotta cover the seam, the backside backers gotta cover the in route. But the first one go, you gotta take the second one. Okay? We'll have and I'll we can draw some of this stuff up too. Um, all right. Red, corners, okay? 
for the corners, all right, we are going to play, we're going to start it off, uh, we're going to start at 8, we're trying to show off man, okay, again, because we're trying to sell the bare front look inside, well, not a mad thunder, but most of the time we're in it, all right, here, we, so we start, uh, actually, uh, we still start at 8, and we're going to creep down to 6, okay, we're going to start at 8, we're going to walk to 6, okay, but most of our red stuff, we'll give them a look of man, man free anyway, okay, so we're going to start at 8, we're going to go to 6, we're going to be in slam footwork, and we'll be inside leverage. Okay? Eyes are inside. I'm still keying in man line scrimmage. It's still cloud support. Okay? So if we get the run this way, we're still going to stack force it off the edge. Okay? Right. I'll cover two principles. So once I see, if I see high hat, same thing, my eyes are going to snap back to one. Right? I'm going to uh, lead, 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 uh, lead step, trail step. Right, I'm going to jam number one, I'm going to zone turn, I'm going to back zone, and I'm going to sink and protect the hole. Cover two for you. Okay, Cover two here. Half field players, the only thing we do with this in red is we're going to deep run. Okay, So the normal thing in, in, two, in, in our two shells, we're going to be at 12 range. We're going to go to 14. Okay, We're going to go to 14 on this. Walk out. All right, And they're both true half players. Right. Being that true half, that's one reason we're going to back them up to 14 to make sure we're deep, we're deep. Okay? It says 12, but it isn't 12. Okay? Let's see that. Number one, we talked about that. Number zero. Okay. All right. Let's uh, I'll tell you, let's do this while I have this on, and I'll pull it up, and I'm gonna, I'll go through some snare red and blue, okay? All right, three D three hundred, okay? We did play, we played just like this. We played match carry deliver, all right? And if I'm playing match carry deliver, all right, on three D three hundred, what I'm doing is this, all right? Is I am going to, uh, I'm gonna match the flat. Okay, we're gonna name a deuce player, trade player, deuce player. Okay, so I'm gonna match the flat. If he goes out, I'm gonna match it. Okay, all right. I'm gonna carry the vertical, and I'm gonna deliver an inside route to my next zone defender. Okay, all right. That's the underneath covers. Three D three match carry deliver. All right. I'm gonna go into that. When you play match carry deliver, you're basically playing man three. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we would, again, we're going to basically play man principles on the corner spot. We're going to still get us a true free safety, okay? We're going to play man principles here on the outside. So, again, we're going to walk in man line, even, we're going to key, key the in man line scrimmage. Our eyes will snap to number one, and we play top down man, okay? All right? Uh, and I'll draw up the match carry delivery. Now, this is not how we do it anymore, okay? I changed it two years ago when we went to carry delivery. Reason was it's so much like me again. I told you about the other coverages. We went through all the coverage, we went back, kind of reevaluate everything, and said, "Look, we want to make sure we have vision, vision, vision." Well, help. If I wanted to do that and play, then we're just going to play man. Okay. If I want to have vision on receivers, we're going to play cover one. We're going to play man. Okay. So we wanted to have still play three D three hundred because first of all, when are we calling it? We're calling three D three hundred really for the run game. Okay. All right. 3D center is not a pack. I mean, Cooper's. Unless you know I got them on the protection and I'm gonna I'm gonna get that ball coming out right now, you're a zone short underneath. Okay? So we we call on it really 3D trainers, it's a run call. It's a run call, so we want to make sure we went back, we want to have vision on the quarterbacks, we want our eyes inside for the run. And, all right, and when we are calling on first downs and, and first down or second medium, and we're trying to do those things. So uh, we went back to where I'll draw we're, we're uh, we're playing th cover three principles. So now our, our, our deuce players, all deuce, our deuce players, are, they're banging the scene and they're playing from the control the flat. Okay, our trade player is a true zone drop player over number three. Okay, so a true zone drop it underneath. Now our corners are more, they're cover three principles, still use the divider rules, by one bottom, and they'll play that and they'll fall everything to the three safeties. Okay, and now with that, that opens up the whole can of worms. <laughs> Are you playing seam flats with number two? I mean, the way you know, the way I've emphasized with our kids is play seam, and I would emphasize the word seam. And as long as you're running seam until you get 
Yes. Yep. It's like any other thing. So when we first teach three, I so said what the most important part those backers got to understand is that in cover three, I want our I want our guys when I call a coverage, I want them to know what I'm thinking. Okay. So our guys know. I'm gonna. Just, I want them to know right off the bat. If we call a cover three, what am I thinking? Run, play action pass. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. That's what we're calling. So I'm thinking right now, instead of, you know what I mean? It's a way to build it in instead of you going, watch the screen, watch the draw, watch the run. Right? I ought to be built in. If I'm calling three, they should be thinking run, play action, pass. Right? If I call cover two, they should be thinking screen. That's what I'm calling. Okay? If we're calling cover five, again, in our matchup, they know that can happen versus anything. All right? They know cover one can happen versus anything. But if we call the variations of that, so we're calling three, or we're calling three deep, three under, I'm thinking run, play action pass. Okay? All right. So, you want to start with, you want to start with two deep corner or three deep three under? Three deep three under. Three deep three under. Here we go. Okay. All right. All right. So now, then we go max carry deliver? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Either way, okay. so let, let me go this match, man. Oh, let me go match carry delivery. I think because I think if you're not a if you're not a man free and you're doing this as your bread and butter, I think this is the best way to do it. Bar none, this is the best way. It's the only way you're gonna match it up and not have vacated zones left and right. Okay? Alright? So if we're playing match carry delivery. Alright. Right? I'm, I'm on number one, I'm on number one, okay? We're going to spin it this way, okay? All right? I'm going to put it this way. Deuce, go trade player, and we classify them, we, do, we go deuce. They're both deuce players, okay? So they're going to drop somebody out, okay? So let's just go number two, number three, number two, okay? For the sake of that, everybody got it? Okay. When we first teach again, we draw it up like that, okay? Put them in the boxes so they understand my zones. Okay? Alright. Again, we say this. It is what? It is going to match the flat. Alright? Or the output. Okay? We're going to carry vertical. Okay? And we're going to deliver inside. Okay? Alright. So, I'm going to drop down and I want to drop down on the outside to number two. Okay? And I shouldn't drop down if we're doing this. If I'm coming from a high down, you want to don't want to drop it any lower than eight. Okay? Don't drop lower than eight. Okay? It's a hell of a lot easier to play curl flat from eight down than, this, than what we normally do when we do this and we've got to go backwards and play. Right? It's a hell of a lot easier for that guy to do it from here and work this way. Okay? So here it goes. I'm reading his cat. I'm dropping to eight. Okay? I'm going to pat my feet. I'm going to read the deuce. Okay? Well, first I'm going to key in line scrimmage. Okay, run, I'm gonna play the run, okay? All right? And so if he goes flat, I got him. He's mine. Okay? If he goes vertical, okay, we wanna drop outside. The reason is, is we want him to release inside to our to our free safety, right? We want to our post player. Okay? So we don't want to drop <laughs> inside and we don't want to get the scene. Okay, because we don't have a true third player here. Okay? Because if you go flat, curl flat, I'm driving the curl. Alright? So anyway, so alright, so I drop down over two. If he goes vertical, I want to work to the outside half of him, right? Okay? Near it's just the same thing. I'm gonna play as lead step, trail step. I'm gonna keep my shoulders square. We were doing the same thing. We want to talk him to take the charge. Okay? I'm gonna take the charge, and that's how I'm gonna reroute the jam the scene. Okay? So I want to take the charge on this. Okay? If he goes if he goes vertical inside of me, then I'm gonna carry him. And I'm carrying him all the way. Okay? Alright? If he went seven cut, I got him. Okay? Alright? If he goes inside, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna yell in 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 and I'm gonna stay with him until I get to the next zone defender. Okay? All right, all right. Anytime, first thing we say this: 
if there's a possibility of a 3-2 exchange, okay? All right? Anytime, wherever three's at, there's a possibility of a 3-2 exchange. You better communicate and get ready for it, okay? <coughs> we don't want the in route, right, and a flat route or swing or whatever else, okay? Get, get ready for it because there's a 3-2 exchange. It's going to occur. We've got to get ready to pass our zones off right now, okay? So he comes in. I'm going to yell in and in, and I'm going to squeeze until I deliver them to him. <coughs> I'm getting ready for the exchange, though, okay? Because if I deliver them to him, i got to pick up the exchange. Now, if three went away, that's why he said you got to deliver them to him. Because if his butt's going that way, it ain't you going to stay with him. There is no pass-off, okay? You don't keep cutting. There's nobody to deliver them to, so you're staying with his butt, okay? Okay? All right. Same thing. Go here. I'm on three. Okay? There he is. All right? Three, if three stays in the blocks, we zone off. Okay? If three goes out, okay, I say what? We're going to match the flat. But what? If there's a three two exchange, let's say two pushes vertical, okay, we got to be ready on this side. We always got to prepare for three two exchange. So two pushes vertical and three pushes the flat, same thing we talked in our man covers, is I'm going to hang, hang, hang. Until he can get to that window, when he does, then I'm going to take the flat. It's like our bracket call. That's all we're doing. Okay? Alright? So, let's say this. Now, let's, say, let's put three, and let's go three on the vertical. I got it. Okay? Three comes in, goes under, does that little angle route. Alright? I'm going to wall it up, and I'm going to take him to win. Until I get to the next zone defender. Probably not happening in that route. Time to. Okay. All right. This deuce is doing the same as this deuce. The same thing. Okay. So let me go through uh, trips. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We got somebody dropping here. All right. He's there. I'm dropping straight back. It's like that, he blocks, I'm playing that, doing the same thing, right? He goes to the flat, I'm matching the flat, okay? He goes vertical, I'm carrying the vertical, he goes inside, I'm gonna squeeze and deliver the next on the fender. Now here's your mic, he's over here now, or whoever else, however you, you know, do your blitz, okay? Sean Shapes here, we got what? Possibility of what? Two, three exchange, okay? We know where three's at. So here we go, ready? I got two, three exchange, three goes out, he curls up, I push to two, I push to three. I knew number two, okay? He went vertical, he goes flat, the same thing. I push him that, I'm pushing that. Okay? The biggest thing that is to be able to work that stuff. So. What about a one-two exchange? Are you playing that or no? No. I mean, is corner making any call and coming off on two vertical? No. We did not. So, if you wanted off three, or, or just two. Sorry. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. We're okay. gonna have it there. We get that, he's driving it. Yep. Now that was always the discussion and that thing was that do you drive it or do you let it go? Well you can't let him go. And I always hate it. I said, no, you can't let it go. He said, well he's going back into the zone. Well crap, not if this sucker's over here doing this. There ain't no zone. So you you're it. And that's why I said, these guys they're in man. They're in man. Okay. Uh, coach, uh, the TV switcher out where they switch early. Like one and two switch, you know, and they kinda get vertical and pay and but they switch it. Would you switch that? Is there three on this side? No. Okay. no. Three's over there. Okay. So usually this is going to be with a backer. Whoever your drop guy is, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to have a drop down guy rolling the strings. He's dropping over here. So now you got to think of who is it, right? Now we can't. So we communicate ahead of time. If we wanted to get this, if they're going to get this, and him take that and him wall that guy up, we can't. We can we communicate a one-two switch away from three, um, the, the, and that goes back into the problems we've got. Well, I didn't like this, because this guy better be able to run. If that's a defense man, you got, I think you got problems. If that's a defense man, you got problems. Now, if you want to do it, where does it all come from? Sure, if you're taking sitting down here in this, in your Pittsburgh Steelers, and this is a damn linebacker, you go chase that sucker down. Okay? All right? 
Now, what we did was a lot of times we could make a, we could get, because you're going to get some of this stuff, uh, uh, they could bunch it up, cluster, whatever else. Whatever the side the roll down is to, okay, this guy here, okay, we always say if, if, if it's that side or the roll down, we could always make a cloud call, okay? So if we got one, two tight, three like that, we can cloud it in the corner down to the safety on half, okay? If he's rolling down that side, okay? It's not hard. I think it's real simple on stuff. Most of the stuff is pretty clear. The problems come, obviously, I think, away from this guy. With the, who's he going to drop down on number two? Okay. How's he going to handle this? Are you going to pass this thing off because you don't want the backer doing that thing? And all the only thing, thing is, if you're going to if you're going to swap it, then you just got to make sure you got you know you got your call. How are you going to say that thing? You know. But for us, when we did it, it was really easy. We were bracketing everything and our, our matchup underneath, and we bracketed everything in man. So when we did this, we could do that. Okay. Well, I don't like I don't like our backer covering the dig on X receiver doing that stuff. Okay, you got to make sure the ball's coming out hot. Hopefully, you get him with the protection. Okay. Let me go into this before before I carry before we get too far ahead. Okay. There's there's only a couple basic blitzes. When you want to go three or it don't matter three three hundred whatever whatever you want to do. Okay, when you're zone blitzing. Now how you do it on a four man or, or odd front, don't make a difference. Okay? We'll just we'll just you guys most even in here. We'll do it like this. Okay. Alright. Okay? We're gonna get two outside. Okay? We're gonna run it outside. We're gonna run it inside. Okay. And however you do it here. Okay. We're gonna do it in the middle. Okay. You run outside, you run inside, you run in the middle. And you may dress it up, you can change it up, you can switch these two guys, or you may want to do it out of the three, four front. You do it like that, and you're gonna run uh, uh Backer and him, and you're going to bring, bring them two in here and do that. You're going to switch them. You're going to run him here and switch him underneath on the inside that one. Okay? You can do the same thing on the outside. You can crash him down, scrape him all the way out to the D. Okay? You can do middle with a straight shoot it. You can do middle with a nose guard. Stick him over, bring this guy underneath, and then bring him back to the pipe. That's probably the best pass one in the middle. Okay? Right? But basically, that's all you got. I mean, we try to get in front of You get outside, you get inside, you got a middle. Okay? Now, the inside can be done with the safety, too, as well. Right? So instead of bringing him, you may drop him as a deuce player to bring a high safety to the inside. Okay? And that's all we're doing, really. Outside is our version of MAD. Boom. We do that. Okay? And we can bring him from here from depth and do that okay and then we can do inside we can do it with two backers we can do it with the mic and the free and you know, whoever else we want to change that up okay all right now here here's something also i think is important before starting with the red is this is i think what you want to do really is you want to be able to do uh that blitz and you want to be able to do that blitz out of both coverages okay because you do that blitz, and then you know you run it, and you, you almost get there, but the quarterback <coughs> saw it and hit the seam or something, right? And but you you, you know it's there, so you, you don't want to give them the same look again. So you want to come with that same blitz, and now you want to change the coverage and make them go somewhere else with the ball, and maybe get them to hold it a little second longer and be able to do that. Okay? And that's again what we're trying to do is, like I said, we're going to go these same blitzes, the same type of blitzes, and we're going to do them at a two deep corner or Three to three hundred or out of man. That's all we're doing. Do you have a philosophy on you know uh, some guys will say that you know pass downs are trying to go on straight lines on rundowns that's going to get more of the crossing action. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I'm past. I don't like a lot of the long stick stuff and all that. I don't like that stuff. I like that. That's why I love a lot of our past stuff. Um, if we're pressing a lot of the same places, I'm a good man. Okay, because most of our man stuff is done like that. It's just built, it's our pack built in. The man blitzes, we're hitting this, you know, we're, we're hitting the gap and we're going. I said earlier in the thing, I said, if we're a man, we're speed rushing. They know that. Okay? If it's a, if it's a one call, they know it's a speed rush. Okay? Uh, what our zone blitzes are, obviously, you're going to long stick and do those, you know, we're going to do that, and, and, but most of our, our run. Now, we like the 2D400 because it gets, again, the, the uh, you give them the same hots in 3D, 300, as you do in uh, in man. Okay, what's my hot? I throw the hitch, I'm gonna throw the slant, I'm gonna throw the quick out. Okay, those are the same one. Well, in all of those, basically, when you know you the 2D 400, you throw the hitch, you may go to the house the other way. You, you know what I mean? You throw the quick out, and he's probably gonna get his head ripped off. Okay, so you again, you, what our complement really is to the man pressure. Is the 2D 400. For our 3D 300, it's basically our run call. It's a run call. Okay? So we would do it like this out of the same front. I'll put this, our old front in the boundary. This is how we're doing, right? Right? And we've been showing the same same look. We're going to make it all look the same. Okay? We've been playing our two, you know. Our two shell that we're cheating the corner, we're doing all that stuff in the boundary, we're slamming that for the zone option, all that stuff. Now we're on this side, now we're going to stick him, we're going to bring him across, we're going to cop him out, and we're going to run the outside blitz there. He becomes my trade player, okay? He's my deuce player, third, third, okay? He's the deuce player on this side, and the corners, he's third on that side, okay? And then we'll run outside, and then we can do the same thing and stick him out. We're on the inside with these two guys, or we can do the same thing and bring the safety inside of that back there and play three to You said now that you know you guys are, are taking more of the zone aspect. Uh, when you guys are on the corner blitz and your your safety's going to replace, yep. Uh, what are you telling them to do in terms of how how does what's his footwork and things like that? So safety with the visor, like your diamond or nitro. That's yeah. What you're yeah, you got, yeah, how's the, he the gonna, high guy? Yeah, how's he gonna replace over with his footwork? Yeah. Okay. What we want to see is this. So I'm we'll going to the boundary here. Okay. All right. Um, we'll start with one first. All right. As this works, I'm gonna start to cheat. As soon as when he's my indicator. Right. Okay. When he starts to show, that's when I'll go. Yes. Okay. Right? But so we all, as a change up, we want him to do that on cheat. So we want to do that on cheat and come back. So they're not giving it away. Let me tell the point all the time. The only time you ever do this, you're coming, you're going to get blocked. Okay? So, all right. So he's my indicator. He goes. All right? When we do this, what we're going to work to is we're going to work to basically, we're going to landmark. I'm working towards the numbers. Like, I'm slide or. Over. We'll get a little cross okay, you gotta hit. Yeah, because if I hit it late, okay. you gotta get your butt there. Alright, okay. Now, I'm working towards the numbers. I got C5. Okay. Ideally, what it says, you bet, we, we want them to understand is that if they pick up corner blitz, they're gonna throw the hitch. Okay? That's the first thing we've got to understand. Is that if he sees it, get ready, he's gonna stand up and throw the hitch. Okay? So we're gonna work towards the numbers, okay? And my eyes are still in here first, okay? My eyes are still in here. I'm still going to read in, in man line of scrimmage, and I want to see the quarterback, okay? <coughs> so I see it pop up. If he's looking at stand for a hitch, my angle's going to turn into that. Okay? First one you better work on is the hitch and go. Mm -hmm. I got hit on that. That was not pretty. Okay? Anyway, so... All right, so I'm gonna now I'm gonna tighten my angle down, right? It's not going straight across the 12. We want to be more like we're working now. If he's running the hitch, we're gonna tighten it down. Still, we're gonna make it inside out. That would have to use our side, right? Using the sideline, okay? So right. your initial aiming points is what 12? Yeah, the other numbers 12. Yep. So working there, knowing we can always come down on the thing we have to, but you don't want to give him so much grass that he's catching the hitch and he's got all the time. That's the problem. Okay. 
So we really want to see is, did he see it before the snap? Did he look for all the indicators and points? He points, oh crap, okay? He, hold, he holds the cadence, he holds the cadence, shit, you better get your butt over there. Go ahead and get it. He holds the cadence and says, yells anything, get over there, okay? Or then we, we can audibleize out of things, okay? That's another thing. If you catch it, you want to be audibleize out, leave him on it, play it. Okay? All right. So I'm working towards the numbers, okay? I'm reading the five. The five just outside releases. And I'm just now, it's like the outside, it's like a corner and outside third. I'm going to work in the cuttings, but all. Okay? You've got to work on making sure that the angle's not, you don't want to go over the angle and you let them come back inside you. Okay? The easiest thing with our, our new guys when they do this is we tell them that, hey, the worst case scenario, get your butt over there. Okay? Now we've worked all the stuff we said pedal, we want to pedal weave, three, five. I like get your get your butt over there. You know what I mean? See, get to the numbers. If I get the numbers early, then I'll square myself up and I can do that. You're 12, we should be alright on, on the deep part. So the worst case would be like this. If I'm the dime, if I'm the safety on the side, boom, I'm gonna start to cheat. I'm going to start to cheat. Now, again, we're talking, we're in the corner, we're in the boundary. Mm -hmm. Right? So you're talking seven yards. I get seven, I get a piece to get from here to the, the window. Okay? He starts to go, I'm going to start to cheat. If I got to cross over, I cross over. And then if I get there and I'm here in time, it's not the hitch, I'm going to square it back up. Okay? If it is, if, you know, I said I'm working here, if it is the hitch, stick the foot in the ground and come make the play. Still looking at the hitch and if we've got two receivers, you guys check. Yeah, that's out. different. You guys switch. <laughs> if he got, if he's got two receivers, we tell them you got to work off the divider. Okay, you got two receivers, you got to work to the divider, square it up. Yep. We're gonna run it. Now, but, but you, you should have a back. I mean, there's a back that still be dropping underneath that thing. Okay. If you got two, it's going to work to the thing. I'm going to start to work that way, and then I'm going to weave to the divider. Right. Okay, if I get if I get five and four vertical, apex. Okay. If anything happens, the four eliminates himself. The same rule. He eliminates himself. Over play five. Okay. If he checks for zone pressure, you know, same same. If he checks one over before because you said zone man, this is a little bit. We don't. Um, now, empty checks and zone. Now, here's the things. Okay, I said our three D three hundred. We're doing versus man. So if they went, if they, if we have a deuce, we have a tray, we have, a, we get the underneath coverage done. If, if they go empty, we should get them all covered down. That should be a problem. Okay, so three D three hundred shouldn't be much of a problem. Plus, we're doing our rundown, so it shouldn't. Yeah. We shouldn't get the crossover. It's a 2D 400 where the problem occurs. Yeah. And they go empty. What do you all do? Well, we can't. We do have a dropout call, but I'm going to tell you, we don't do it much. Because the idea is you spend all the time working. What if they do this? What if they do that? Well, hell, if they're doing empty, I'm probably not calling them a lot of them. You know what I mean? Or if it is, I'm going to call it and we're going to hit them in the face. You know what I mean? Rally, make the tackle, and let's line back up. You know? Sometimes you got to give it credit. How good's quarterback? And then I say, hit it with me. Hit it once, hit it twice. Now all of a sudden, I'm probably not going to, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're going to get out of something. Okay? All right? So the blitz part of it can happen about anything, okay? And we can go back and talk about some of the blitzes at the end of the day. We'll talk about the blitzes and exactly how to run them a little more effective and stuff, okay? Let's go through uh, the 2D corner. Is that, are we good? Mm -hmm. That's kind of old. All right, 2D corner, all right? All right, that's simple, all right? Let's just say we're doing it out of our bare front. And we want to run the version outside. Okay, all right? We're going to work underneath there, we're going to work there, we're going to work there, okay? He's dropping hot on four, I'm up hot on two. Okay. Slam footwork, 14 yards, 14 yards, slam footwork. Okay. Alright. If I get one under and two vertical, I'm squeezing the vertical. I'm yelling into him. That's his that's his hot route. Okay. 
right? I get them both going vertical again. I'm going to cover the hot and I'm going to square it up. Okay? I'm using all the cover two principles, jam, eyes and quarterback, sink to the hole. Okay? Alright. Now let's go, they take it and they go three over here. They go three over here, we're hauling ass to the trips. I gotta take the first in here, right? I'm gonna let the first in go, next one I'm looking at the second in or the first up. Okay? Second in or first and up and they go. We run this one probably more versus pass than you know, we, we like this versus pass. I like it versus the run. If anything, we probably look at our cuts. We don't run it enough. Right? We have a lot of success with it. We probably just don't do it enough. Okay? Whether we don't matter which way we're doing it, we back that safety up, put him on half, and bring the free safety on the inside flitz. Okay? All right, let's talk about these guys. All right, if if I'm on line of scrimmage and I'm a dropper, okay, and he's run game, okay, if it's run away from me, all right, I'm going to fold off the line of scrimmage. So we lost all our fold players. So if I run, I'm the fold player, okay? And that goes with our stuff. That any, if I'm ever on line of scrimmage and I'm a dropper, I'm going to fold on ball away, okay? The mic on the inside blitz, there's two ways. A lot of people say, uh, uh, a lot of people do it, is that I'm running it no matter what. I don't care if they ran uh, ISO over here, he's running the stunt, okay? We don't do that, okay? I take this guy, we tell him, hey, if it's run action, if the ball goes away from you, play football. If it's run to you, or it's drive a high hat, then you're gonna run the stunt, okay? On the outside blitz, reading the, reading the play side tackle. And he blocks out, so it's to match up on any protection they do. Right? They squeeze and lock down. We should be down here. I should be outside that guy with him. Right? We should have two on one on the back. Right? If they want a man, if they want a man protected, they want to kick him out for the invert. Right? Then I should be inside on the back. Because we're going to long, we're going to stick him. Okay? You know, the, the empty check, like I said, the empty ones would always be, uh, our checkout is, is the nose guard, is the guy we drop. So if I was, if we were going to drop him out and drop call, we drop call, and I'm going to take my gap on the run, it's high hat. But really the only thing he's checking down for is the back releasing out of here late. So if he's going to hit here, he's going to play the run, he's going to drop out and play that. Okay? And he's looking for the back. you got to look for the back check release, back release out late. Um, or it could be an empty, for an empty check, um, then, uh, you know, again, he's going to look for the, the inside nearest line. inside receiver. Okay, yep. He would take number three to that side. Otherwise, we don't. We really go in three, three by two distribution. We just want those two guys to, uh, the hot guys, all right? If i got three and two both on my side, I'm by myself, all right? If they both go vertical, I'm going to take the inside guy, all right? Because that's my nearest threat, all right? If one goes vertical. If one goes vertical and one comes under, which is the most dangerous? The vertical. Take the vertical, make them throw the high underneath. We'll rally to that. Okay? If, uh, if one goes out, then I'm going to worry about it. That guy's going out, he's going to the corner, I'll take this guy. Either vertical or out, or inside, wherever he's running, I'll take him. Okay? blitz, only thing is, instead of bringing them here, you're here. You're still bring two off the edge. It's the same blitz. Okay? What we tell this guy on this is this. If I get a high hat by the, 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 the tackle, if the tackle sets me, we want to bull rush the tackle. We're going to bull rush the tackle and make sure he can't get to the invert. Okay? Alright? So we're going to bull rush the tackle. Once I feel the invert pass me, now I can make my move inside or outside, whatever i got to do. Okay? The three technique on high hat is always up and in. Okay? He's always up and in. Alright? We got the nose here, we're on the edge. Another game we can play with it is we can send him inside, alright, and bring him around. 
and we just tag it. It was a quick game. It was Ed on the backside. We wanted to Ohio. We called the Ohio, Ohio on the backside. They had we won. Okay? And these guys will both be dropping red. All right? Simple version of this one. All right? Just like our run stunt, where we sent him up and him under, we do the same thing. Okay? All right? So let's say they're taking the back and they're going to say, I'm going to, like here, oh, I'm going to block him back, you got him. Okay? Well, now our changeup will be this, get him to block him, we're going to run him through the A gap. They want to slide that. Okay? Again, that's why we would like it through the back. We want to run it versus the back versus the zone read. Okay? And we want to run it versus the back versus protection. Okay? Now here's the P on, on, on slide protection. Two off of either side, but a lot of people stay away from the, the, this side, you know, that's doing that. Well, hell, I, we like it, okay? If this is the slide side, okay, I'm gonna take the three up and in. He's gonna get blocked, I know that, okay? We're gonna blow rush the tackle. The back's over here, and that's a race between him and him. Can Haney get it across and pick him up, okay? So the whole, I mean, the whole thing on any, any, any slide protection, if you go two off either side, the man side or the slide side, if you go two outside, you should have them. Okay? So uh, we would start, it depend on, again, we'd look at this thing first and say, okay, how good is the back of protection? Okay? Can he block? All right? If he can't, then obviously we're going after him all the way. Okay? If he can block, then we're going to take our chances and see what we can do on the other side. Okay? All right, so we've got, there's a variation that we do that. We're gonna bring the guy underneath, okay? We we'll play the game on the back side. So then this is one blitz can turn into about four different looks, okay? All right, and then the next one is this. If that back's been picking him up, okay, we're gonna make a switch call. So now I'm gonna speed rush the edge, okay? And I'm coming underneath. And I'm still doing the same thing. I'm gonna check it out. Three technique, I'm gonna go up and in. All right, and we're gonna bring the invert off this. Now, if the back is blocking, we try to get on the invert, you just want a straight path. What you really want to do is start it, right? A little late, get behind him. He speed rush, one, two, get the back to come here. And slide underneath, okay? All right. Isn't that really your mad stunt too? I mean, it's the same. No, no, that's it. Yeah. These are yeah. all mad. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We, we should, that's mad. If we want to bring him underneath, we call it echo, so we say mad echo. Okay? If we say this, we say mad switch. Right. If we want mad with that game on the backside, we say mad ed. So back mad ed. Back mad switch. Back mad, mad echo. Um, Field mad switch, which one comes to field, they're, they're sprinting out or whatever else. Mm -hmm. uh, field mad. Uh, and a lot of the, we do this one so much because that's a, that's a big run one for us and pass. So there's probably more variations. Uh, the rest of them we don't change a whole lot. We're going we're gonna to run, uh, like I said, a storm, we'll be doing off the, the bear look. Uh, we want to run just the, the outside blitz. Mm -hmm. We call it that's outside. We're outside and go inside. Okay. Now the free safety one, maybe the best pass one. Okay. Again, what we want to first know first of all is how they're protected there. Okay. All right. Which most of the time it's full slide. We get a lot of full slide or squeeze protection. Okay. All right. But if they're going to stay true and go slide man, okay, all right, we're going to wide him out to the four eye. Okay, we take the inverts and back them up to the head, right? They're going to make it look like man first, and then we go way back. And we go back. I'm the half field player now, okay? Free safety's going B, Mike's going A, okay? Anytime we got two adjacent blitzers, if we make a switch call, they switch gaps. Okay? So if I wanted to say switch, all right, the mic would come up, he would go B, and the mic would come A, and the free would come A. 
Now we do this also when we do this the nose here, he'll shade strong, he'll cross that face, he'll do that. Right? So we're trying to get that guard down. Ideally what we want is we want the guard down, we want this out, and we want two on this running back. So, you know, with that same look with him dropping down in there, you don't want to just do that. Well, that's, a, that's why we do it together. We drop him down in there and play Tampa with him in the hole. So the only time he's down, down in there, he's not doing that. You know what I mean? So we got to drop him down in there and bring him, and then we'll drop him down in there and play Tampa. Drop out with the same look. Drop both backers, drop the mic, and he's going to play the, the hole in Tampa. Try to make it all look the same. Okay. What are you guys doing, or are you? 